Hey, everybody, hope you guys are all doing safe. So this is my review of the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2022. This is the newest update to Huawei's flagship laptop line. If you are familiar with Huawei's previous laptops, this will look very familiar. It, you have the same metal aluminum unibody design, a really thin build, you know, premium build quality. It measures only 15.5 millimeters at its thickest point. And you still have this beautiful 3K touch panel. It's an LCD panel, but it's a touch screen. 3K resolution with really slim bezels around. You have a screen to body ratio of over 94%. Now, one major change this year is that the webcam has been moved from the F keys down here to up top now at the top bezel. So now when you use your webcam, it is now pointing at you in a much more natural angle. Whereas before, when the webcam is down here, you know, it was at an unflattering angle where it was like shooting up your nose like this. Now this is only a 720p webcam, so it's not the sharpest webcam around, especially when compared to the 16 inch MacBook Pro, the new 2021 edition anyway, but this is still serviceable. There's uh, four microphones built into this, so you're picking up sound directly from the laptop right now. How do I sound? How do I sound testing? This display gets a maximum brightness of 500 nits, which is pretty good for laptop. I find that I can still use this out and about without issues. And it gets pretty dim too in case you do want to use this in a dark bedroom without waking up your partner or friend. Now this machine runs on an 11th generation Intel Core i7. It's a Rocket Lake processor. Unfortunately, this is not the newest processor around. And you also don't have a discrete GPU. You're using the Intel iOS XE graphics in here, which means if you're doing advanced video editing or heavy graphic work, this machine will suffer a little bit. It is not the most powerful machine around for that. With that said, for more casual office usage, like if you're just writing Word documents, surfing the web, doing basic photo editing in Adobe Lightroom, this machine is absolutely more than powerful enough. There's 16 gigs of RAM in there, with one terabyte of storage. Now, most of the hardware tricks that previous Huawei laptops were known for returns. This includes this power button here that has a fingerprint sensor embedded. So it's a one touch fingerprint sensor. You just have to press it once. It will go from shutdown machine all the way into the home screen directly. But this year you also have Windows Hello face scanning up top. So if you don't want to use a fingerprint scanner, you don't have to. You can just turn it on and scan my face. It will log me in automatically. The other thing is um, connectivity between Huawei devices. So this trackpad here, which I'll talk about pretty soon, also has an NFC pad inside to support connectivity with Huawei flat, um, smartphones. So I have a Huawei P50 Pro here. If I just tap the phone on the trackpad, I can begin connection, connect my P50 Pro to my MateBook X Pro 2022. Okay, now it is connected. Now I can control my phone directly on the laptop screen. You can even use the camera viewfinder, which is pretty cool. So, so I can zoom in with the camera on the laptop screen. So if you're someone who uses a Huawei smartphone, this is a major benefit because now if you're getting WhatsApp messages, Telegram messages, you can respond directly on your laptop. You don't have to stop doing what you're doing on your laptop just to pick up your phone, which I often have to do when I use an iPhone with a Mac or a Samsung phone with a Mac. Now this connectivity between the MateBook and the P50 Pro is just a small sample of what this laptop can do. I already made a previous video on this, but this laptop can also connect seamlessly with a Huawei tablet, the Mate Pad 11, and the Huawei monitor, the Mate View behind me. Everything connects wirelessly, and you can use the Mate Pad, for example, as a secondary display, as a hard drive, a bunch of other cool stuff. I'm not gonna go over them here again, but I suggest you watch that video to check out what Huawei calls Super Device, which connects the Huawei MateBook X Pro along with all Huawei's um, accessories. And yeah, the software here is Windows 11 Home Edition and everything works pretty smoothly and clean. The display is also 90 Hertz refresh rate, so you're getting smoother animations than you would from a traditional PC. Definitely more than a 60 Hertz Mac display. Okay, now let's look at the keyboard and trackpad. I felt that Huawei MateBook X Pro's keyboards for the last few years have been the best keyboard in the business. Particularly a few years ago when Apple was using those terrible butterfly keyboards on the MacBook, I hated typing on that thing. The typing experience is much better here. The keys have real travel, like you feel tactile feedback when you're typing, the keys bounce back when you press into them. But the biggest improvement this year comes in the trackpad. So the trackpad is quite a bit larger now. It is a lot more responsive. I don't get these accidental touches that I used to get on previous MacBooks. But the biggest improvement come in these gestures that are built into the trackpad. So check this out. If I slide my finger up and down the left side of the trackpad, I can adjust display brightness. 
and I don't know if you can hear, but you can actually hear an audible click as I'm sliding and also a tactile feedback as if you're actually physically turning a dial. If you do the same slide of gesture on the right side of the trap, I can adjust the volume. And yet the speakers here are really good. You have a quad speaker system and it is not quite on the level of the MacBook Pro speakers, but really good for a PC Windows device. And then when you slide up top, you can also fast forward in the video. You either skip forward or, or backtrack. So this is a max volume. Now this machine is relatively lightweight. It weighs 1.38 kg, which is three pounds to us Americans out there. Four USB-C ports, two on the right, two on the left, along with a headphone jack on the left side. That's great that you have USB-C ports on both the right and the left side. And you can charge the laptop with all four of these ports. The battery inside is a 60 watt battery. So it's not the largest battery, but I'm still able to get about eight hours of use on a single charge. So that's good enough for a work day. But if you are going to use this longer, you will need to bring a charger with you. The good news is the charging brick with this laptop is quite small, definitely less bulky than a MacBook Pro's charger. Now the MacBook X Pro 2022 goes on sale in Europe and parts of Asia like Hong Kong and Singapore pretty soon. The official retail price in Europe is 1,899 euros, which converts to around $2,000. I'm pretty sure in Hong Kong, it'll be a little bit cheaper than that. But there's no getting around it. This is a relatively pricey laptop, especially considering the fact that you're getting only an 11th gen processor, not the 12th gen. And also you don't have a discrete GPU, so you can't really, if you do video editing on this and you try to render 4K footage, it's gonna be a little bit slow. So this is not a machine for heavy creativity tasks. This is more like a lightweight machine for people who work remotely nowadays or people who do a lot of writing and reading on their machines and on the go. So this is a highly portable stylish machine but it's a little bit lacking in power relative to the price. However, one appeal of this machine is if you already use other Huawei products, like I said, the Maypad 11 or the Mayview or the P50 Pro, there's seamless connectivity here that you don't get out of, say, buying like a Dell XPS 13. So this is the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2022. As usual, it is a beautiful premium laptop, and I'm a huge fan of the improved trackpad. My biggest complaint about previous MateBook X Pros have always been the trackpad. This time, the trackpad actually works really well, and this screen is absolutely one of the best screens on a business. So yeah, that's about it for this review. If you're interested in more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel, or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. I have a lot more stuff coming up, as February and March are the busiest months of the year. So take care, thanks for watching.